r slash ask reddit people of reddit what was the most nsfw event you ever stumbled upon in high school i walked into a bathroom after a fight broken mirror blood smeared on the wall and floor water everywhere probably unrelated to the fight and a lot of bloody tissues in the sink oh and there was a turd in the urinal i hope that was unrelated to the fight someone got the shit kicked out of them my high school had to ban blankets after two freshmen were caught having sex under one in the middle of the art hallway. Same. Though my high school had to ban blankets every winter because people were found having sex in the library. I ran cross country in high school. Sometimes during practice we would run through trails in the woods surrounding the high school. One day right after school ended we started running down the trails and stumbled upon two students having sex. Judging by their reactions I don't think they were expecting a group of 15 guys to run by while they were getting it on. High school bus hit a deer. Police were called. Deer was shot three times in front of the bus to put it down. Watched it from the parking lot while skipping school. I'm very sure some guy will make a video about this post with a robotic voice. The seniors in the photography class got caught banging in the dark room. We had a girl who would sit in the back of the bus and seemed to always have a different dude sit next to her. Turns out she was giving guys hand jobs for a small price. We had to go outside for a physics experiment. But on the way from the classroom to the field, there was a bloody trail. Because a girl had just been stabbed in the bathroom and run to the nurse. She'd moved to the country less than a month prior. Gotten mixed up with some shady people. And a 14 year old did in the bathroom stall before jumping out and trying to stab her in the face. She put her arms up and only had superficial injuries. But she never came back. Poor girl had PTSD last time I checked. Had a guy run through the school completely naked. High school by the way. Even ran up and slapped some teacher's ass. Haven't heard of him since but they was like 5 plus years ago. Used condom left wrapped around the tap on the sink in the boys toilets. A week later it was still there. A month later there was another one next to it. A sophomore at my school gave a freshman a donut filled with cum. He got criminal charges. A freshman got jerked off by his girlfriend under the table in the cafeteria. During lunch, someone sitting near them noticed was happening. Took a video and posted it online. The administration quickly found out. The video was taken down and all three involved were suspended. 8th grade sex ed. Teacher showed us a video of a woman giving birth. Very close shots. Very graphic. Very disturbing to most 8th graders. Weird kid in the class tucks his arms into his shirt and starts jerking off to the fully dilated vagina being shown on the 200 inch projector screen. In 8th grade we went on a class trip to Hershey Park. Two girls gave a guy a blowjob on the bus ride home next to a sleeping chaperone. They eventually got caught and that's why there are now no co-ed buses in the district. This was also in 2002. Not really NSFW. Just my most vivid HS memory. It was the biggest poop I'd ever seen. Just one huge log. To my memory the size of the toilet bowl. It definitely didn't fit down the hole and had to be removed by a janitor. Everyone told their friends about it and one by one we all went and checked it out. Also no toilet paper in the bowl. All that was there was the one big fat legendary turd. It physically hurts me to think about how it came out of a butthole. Edit. I would just like to add that I am touched and humbled by all of your poo related stories. In this time of division and opposition. Let us all remember we are united by poo. We had two people ducking under the band bus in the mud at a contest. One guy flashing his dong at the teacher and also one dude was caught in the bathroom giving a blow job. In middle school the health teach went to show a video on the projector and I guess he had porn on his video player. He offered everyone A's to keep quiet. He was fired then went to work for a catholic school. No one thought it would be a bad idea for the cross country team to have thin white uniforms until we had a race in a thunderstorm. So many flashbacks of penises swaying with each stride. Walked into a bathroom after school and found a guy and a girl about to go to town. She had her shirt off and skirt up. He had his pants won. I mean. I caught them just before the moment of insertion. I said nothing. I would have left them to it. Except all other bathrooms on campus except this one were always locked shortly before last bell. 
so I silently walked to a urinal, calmly did my business, properly washed my hands. By the time I went to leave, the girl was hiding in a stall and the guy was waiting by the door. I shrugged at the guy. Guy shrugged back. I left and heard the door lock behind me. Not one of us said anything or made a sound during the entire exchange. Edit. For everyone calling it a power move. I appreciate it. But I just didn't wanna have to pee in the bushes. Went to teacher's room to get some papers that my Portuguese teacher had forgotten and stumbled at my gym and biology teachers kissing each other really hard over the meeting table. I mean, they didn't even notice me. And oh, it was a Catholic shul. And they were both married BTW. My face when I returned to class without the papers must have been priceless. Friend of mine got with our art teacher, who was an ex-stripper. We had many PCS in our school. And every computer room had a projector. So once when the teacher was ill and no replacement came we were in that room. Someone started the projector and quickly found out that every porn site he tried is blacklisted. But playing from USB apparently works fine. We later found out. Not only are the connections whitelisted. But also fully monitored. Not long after the movie show with sound and everything started. The IT tech guy comes with a substitute teacher. That internet search history was apparently enough for them to suddenly have a substitute teacher for us. Edit. For anyone interested we were around 16 or 18 males if I recall correctly and 4 girls in class. I can't remember how many were there that day. Okay 2 stories 1 NSFW but still messed up. Janitor in elementary school died while mopping the floor and somehow this didn't get around the entire school and my entire class saw them taking his covered up body out the front door. Another is walking in on several people giving BJS in the band room. It became a daily thing and I should have known to also knock on the practice room doors before entering. My school is the one where that girl, Peaches went to the girl who ate the tampon. Also two students got caught ducking under the stairs. Guys I need to inform you that there apparently are multiple peaches the peaches that I am referring to went to a school called Saxon Ayla Bask me anything. I went to a small party at my friend's house. My girlfriend and I got there late. We went in and noticed nobody was in the living room. Weird, they said they'd be here. Start walking to the back and I could hear several voices in the bedroom. I just opened the door and there were 7 of my friends just having a casual orgy. Legend has it that a guy in my sophomore or junior year used to sit next to his GF and get hand jobs during English class. I'm a teacher who teaches in a high school. First day on the job had two kids beaten cheeks in the back of one of my shop cars. Should specify I'm an automotive teacher. Pretty NSFW if you ask me was walking around outside my high school and saw a dude leaning up against a wall getting a blow job. They didn't see me so I quietly turned around and walked away. Not me specifically, but two kids in my catholic high school ducked in the bathroom and someone caught them and videotaped it. They posted it online. Our school made the news and now they measure girls skirts if they look too high, as well as banning phones. I go to catholic school and besides a teacher pedophilia scandal every year I am not kidding. The kid that played the Pornhub intro on the drums that is speeding around the internet happened at my school. I went to a boarding school my freshman year of high school and a few weeks in. I volunteered to help walk our librarian's dog for her while her leg was healing after an injury. So I was walking this huge dog through the woods around campus when he suddenly sniffed the air and just ripped the leash out of my hands and took off into the underbrush. I started chasing after him when I heard screaming and yelling. I thought, oh god this dog mauled someone and I'm going to get expelled. Broke through a clearing and there were 5 half naked upperclassmen trying to put their clothes on and scatter while this dog is joyously barking and jumping up on and licking them. TLDR accidentally interrupted an orgy in the woods with my librarian's dog. Edit. I guess since so many people are asking. Yes it was a co-ed school and yes both sexes were represented. This was junior high but one kid who we suspected was gay gave another kid who we did not suspect was gay a blowjob in the bathroom stall. And for what? A hollow foil cleffery pokemon card. Girl gave a blowjob to a guy and his friends filmed it. It was the talk of the school and she changed schools. Two years later she came back and sucked a different guy's dong by the same dumpster. No one filmed it this time. A girl, 
Freshman, went viral on Snapchat because the guy she was giving head to recorded her and said it was terrible during the recording. She's now dating, and cheating on, the guy we called Cherry Picker. Not me, but a few freshmen encountered sophomores having sex on a hill my school had for cross country and I think football, and then someone marked that hill on Google Maps. The dudes from the class where I was from before I changed classes, started doing group masturbating sessions in the locker room before or after pay, that shit smelled like Ross Moisters after, the next class was always duck because of the smell. Some kid at a party got blackout wasted and shat himself. In the middle of the crowd he took his pants down and slipped in it. Proceeded to army crawl to try and make it out but just smeared it everywhere. He is still known as the party pooper. People snorting crushed up pills in the bathroom right off of the sink. This was in the early 2000s. In band before a football game. I walk into the percussion room to hang with the homies. Everyone is huddled around this dude in the corner of the room laughing. So of course I walk over to check it out. Turns out the dude was showing everyone how tiny his dong is and everyone was so fascinated. Yeah it was really really small. Like from the tip of your pinky to the first knuckle down. I've never seen anything like it lol. Edit. I know it called a micropenis. Lomfeo. Middle school boy in the shower fully tucked doing a dance. Strange days the 80s. Freshman year of high school. Football team is out practicing. A senior varsity player came into the freshman locker room. Cut all the locks off our lockers. And stole our clothes. Nice enough to take wallets and phones etc out of pockets and leave them in the lockers though. Idiot didn't realize the hallway cameras had him the whole time. Most of us chose not to shower until we got home and as a team proceeded to leave in groups in undershirts and boxes or no shirts and boxes after getting a call our rides were there. Small town. Small school. So ultimately he was just benched for a few games suspended for a day or two and his parents had to buy a bunch of padlocks. What kind of schools do y'all go to Lmeo? In middle school some kids walked in and started having sex in the stall next to me while I was pooping. Eventually they smelt my presence. When I was in middle school, someone jerked off and finished on his desk in the middle of class. The story is legend in our area and it's been retold so many times that it's hard to figure out what actually happened after he finished. So I'll give you each ending I've heard from different people. He finished and it shot across his desk onto the girl's hair in front of him. The teacher heard something happening. Went over and saw it on the desk and put her finger in it. He just cummed over himself and got kicked out of class. He got suspended and a few years later got caught peeing outside and put on the sex offenders list. The guy is really funny and pretty chill now. He has a lot of stories about him and they're all amazing. I heard my parents having sex during math class. I am homeschooled. Fresh is on a locker room bench. A kid pulled his pants down in Spanish class and pissed in the corner. A kid with a mental handicap who would vigorously masturbate in AP political science at least once a week. Edit. One day in AP policy, the kid with Asperger's sat alone in a row of empty chairs all closely placed together directly in front of the teacher. In the middle of class, he reclined across four adjacent seats and went to work in his pants. At my angle, I could see everything. The tent. His forearm pistoning up and down. The veins in his neck. He stuck out his tongue and curled his toes, taunting us like that for 5, maybe 10 seconds, before the teacher shouted at him. This kid did weird shit but he was in a number of my AP classes and, I think, legitimately earned his way. He carried our team's ass in AP Brit Lip Junior Year during in class Jeopardy games. And way too many of you all shared this pissing in Spanish class experience for us to be in the same class. What's going on out there? Oh man I've got a good one for this. So I'm in HS theater class and have been helping the teacher out with a lot of tasks like setting up the green room and stuff. Just little helpful stuff. Well, apparently one of us left the door unlocked and unattended for a little too long. In our green room were two big blue couches that were the most uncomfortable things I had ever sat on. Teacher comes running into the room from the hall and says suddenly to Keela, I think someone is in the green room. Go with me so I can have a witness. Thinking nothing of it, I go. 
We stand by the door and someone is most deaf in there, making some pretty unusual sounds. I realize what the sound is a half second before the teacher throws the door open to two kids from my class getting down on that couch. I only had like 2 seconds of view time before the teacher screams good golly miss molly and slams the door. I sat outside that door crying from laughing for about 20 minutes before they knocked on the door to be let out, realizing we had the stage completely locked down. The look on their faces when the principal let them out and led them to his office will forever be in my mind. Can you imagine? Balls deep about to blow and from over your shoulder good golly miss molly. I dream of it sometimes and still wake up laughing. Edit. Words are hard. There was a kid. We will call him CB. He was notoriously a bad kid. Always in fights. Getting kicked out of school etc. Anyways his locker wasn't next to mine but it was really close. He and I never had problems because I purposefully avoided him. One day another kid. We will call AC. And CB. Got into an argument. It led to a pushing and shoving match and some shit talking but got separated really quickly. The next day AC. Was walking past our lockers and CB. Pulled a little crowbar out of his locker. Ran up behind AC. And hit him in the back of the head so hard that blood hit me in the face part of ACS scalp literally half folded over the back of his head as he was on the floor. CB. Started hitting him in the back and the back of the head with it. Other students jumped on him and held him down. An ambulance took AC. To the hospital. His skull was fractured and he had broken ribs. I had to get checked out because of the blood exposure. No idea where CB. Went but I never saw him again. At high school homecoming we formed a mosh pit blocking view from faculty, and a couple was having sex in the center. Witness some girl wearing underwear, a tank top w no bra, and shoes getting escorted out of the school's front doors. Never learned the story behind that. One of the popular kids who rode my bus got caught whacking it with his sister's panties, by his buddy who also rode our bus. His time of bus dominance immediately came to a screeching halt. Two class clowns faking a gay relationship like faking kisses and stuff. Half naked boys whipping each other with towels in the locker room. Ro, you made it to the end, you're a ducking beast. I'll cut you a deal. Smash like and subscribe for more curated content moite. It's free and that's a great price.